Wait till that beat drop. You know how smooth that is, Wilson? That's undeniable, man. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. This one's called I Vibe For Myself, Ride For Myself. Oh, that's smooth. Smooth AF, baby. You know what? I found one last week. Let me see if I can find that track again. Let me see. Ah, this is it. Oh, yeah, this, this, is that, this is that dance track, baby. Oh, wait till that beat drop, though. Here it comes. Oh, snap. Mm. All right, man. Look, look. It's undeniable, bro. It's here. Look, it just sounds better. I'm, look, I, guys, welcome back. Me and Wilson are in the middle of some stuff, but I need to introduce myself. Welcome to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. I'm trying to convince Wilson he don't know no better Richardson because we are having a dispute. Look, last week we did some videos on the new Sony uh, Oldfield 7 versus the Boombox 3. I'm a Boombox fan, okay? I'm a JBL fan. And so I need to convince Wilson that the JBL Boombox is actually overall the better speaker. And he don't want, he's sticking to his guns, but I'm gonna prove it today in front of you guys, okay? But, but first, be before I do that, I need to clear some stuff up. I just said I'm a JBL fan. I'm not a JBL fan boy. So I'm a fan. This is what fans do. We see new products, we purchase them, we like them, we use them, we put them away, and that's pretty much the end of it right there. That's as far as it goes. But you JBL fanboys, man, y'all are something else. Y'all be running around here like Taylor Swifties with your little Stanley Cup screaming, JBL is the best, JBL, JBL, everything else is trash. Bruh, settle down. It is not that serious. You need to get, get a grip on it, man. Now that we've fix that issue, you can cross over to the normal side of things. Let's talk about this JBL Boombox 3, man. So I, I, just, I just like the way, like, uh, you know what? Forget it, forget about my opinion. Let's go to the facts here, man. Let's go to some specs that I wrote down. Man, that wind is kicking, man. It's kind of chilly out here too. Let's go to some stuff I wrote down, Wilson, cause you know, you, you don't be listening to me, man. You, go, you need to listen to the people. Look, all right, so let's talk about price though, of each, because people were mad that the uh, the old field seven dropped at five hundred dollars USD, right? Which is normal, okay? When the new speakers of this size drop, they're about five hundred bucks, four ninety nine to be exact. As a matter of fact, when the JBL Boombox three launched, it was four ninety nine. In fact, I paid four ninety nine for it plus tax. So it's a two year old speaker and it has gone on sale. So to be honest, man, it's not even fair. Like the, the Sony's gonna be on sale soon. So that's kind of a moot point. Let's just leave that one alone. That's, that's dead that issue. But this is where it gets in. Interesting, man. So I got my specs here that I, I, I typed out. I'm seeing that the JBL Boombox weighs 13.9 pounds, man. That's, that's pretty much 14 pounds. It's light. Well, in all respects, it's, it's light, right? 13.9 pounds. It's, it's a light speaker. You can just grab it and go, man. But when you need to get into the like the superior music quality, like fidelity, you need LDAC. And that's where the Boombox 3 comes in, man. You got LDAC support. So if you got an Android phone, you just toggle that LDAC on and you just got all your, your high fidelity music playing like right at your fingertips with LDAC because Boombox 3, baby. Dude, let's just play some more. Dude, I gotta get some more. Hold up. Come on now, come on, Wilson. Let's do another track. Let's do this Dust Bunny real quick. I love this track. Oh, man. Dude. Wilson, don't that sound good? Yeah, man. See, Wilson, he, he's coming along, man. He's coming along. But let me tell you some more stuff about this speaker and why I love it. I love it because it has sound field optimization. See, right now, I got it sitting right there, right? Right in front of the camera. But it sounds like it's just kind of everywhere because what sound field optimization does is kind of kind of reads the room or the area. And then it kind of just optimizes the sound to sound more spatial. And that's why you, you witnessed it. It sounds like it's just more than one speaker. It sounds like maybe two speakers, not necessarily stereo, right? But just two speakers, you know, in two different spots. So you get that, that almost surround sound kind of effect. It doesn't just feel like it's just blaring 
uh, from one side. Man, that's, that's JBL Boombox 3, baby, all day long. Sound field optimization. Oh, check this out, bro. And for you all out there, seven band EQ. If you go into the JBL app, man, you can get this seven band EQ. So out of the box, I just play it the way it is. But if you need to tinker with some stuff, you go into this seven band EQ and you can toggle you know, all your frequencies and stuff and tweak this thing to exactly how you want it, uh, want it to sound. No more of this three band EQ miss where you got your mids, highs and lows. Nah, we need more than that. We need depth. We need sound fidelity. So we take that L back and then we mix it with our seven band EQ. That's what we do at JBL now. Then, this is the thing right here. This is the thing. The sound stays with you. Remember when I talked about sound field optimization and how it just kind of you know, sounds like it's coming from more than one area. It just goes, it just stays with you. Wherever you go, you still hear the same music. That is, that's what I'm talking, and that's actually one of my favorite aspects of the sound quality of that speaker, man. It, it, it's just ultra clutch, man. But you know what, before, I'm, a, I'm gonna play another track, man, because I gotta let you hear for yourself, Wilson. I've been sitting here jamming the speaker this whole time. Uh, not that one, not that one, not that one. Let's do, uh, let's do. Nice and smooth. Wilson, how's that sound, man? Sound good? You can talk to the people, man. Tell, tell, tell the people how you feel like it sounds. Yeah. All right, yeah. It's just clean. And it's everywhere, man. Come over here. Come over here, Wilson. Dude, it's like... It hasn't changed. All right, let's go over to the speaker, man. Hold up, man. What? What? Hold up. Is this thing even on? Dude, this ain't... Wilson. Come on, Wilson. You trolling me, dude. Oh, Wilson, you trolling me, man. Wilson didn't troll me, y'all. Hold up, hold up. What about my notes? Hold up, man. Dude, these are the Sony old Phil 7 notes, bruh. You didn't troll me, man. Oh, Wilson. Dude, I thought we was better than that, man. Everything I just said about, ugh, come on, man. And this is happening in front of the people right now? Dude, you know what? Screw it, man. If, if, if this is happening in front of the people, I just gotta roll with the punches. You know what I'm saying? Let's just, let's just roll with it and jam out. Cause I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is the Sony Field Ult 7 apparently is the one I actually do like. <laughs> Hey man, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.